So I'm going to say in preventing this, which is very simple, let's go back to the pager and down here on the loop. So all we're going to do is this problem only occurs on this side of the page, right? So what I would do is I'm going to say X right here. Uh, that's the number of steps, right? So all I need to do is do a calculation. So I'm going to say if page, let's copy this. Let's put an if statement and say if page minus X um, let's put that in more brackets, shall we? Let me close that. Let's put this in more brackets. So if this calculation here is less than zero or less than one, sorry, uh, because we can't have page zero. If it's less than one, then ignore this whole thing. So what we can say is just say continue like that. Now, if there's only one item in your um, one line on your on your if statement you don't need to put the brackets like this matter of fact you can actually uh put this continue right here like so and it will work just fine so let's see if that works let's refresh and there we go so we see we get one but if i go to page two i should get more and i am not which is uh, very strange What's going on here? This is insane. Okay, what's happening? Um, ah, right, I see what's going on. Hmm. This requires a little bit more future-proof thinking. I need to involve the steps in here. Aha. Uh -huh. But uh, this is okay, though. Let me put it like this for easier view, uh, debunking or debugging, sorry. That way you know exactly what's going on when you come back to see this code rather than just putting one line there. So refresh, let's see what's going on. If I'm on six, seven, so it only skips to this once it reaches the full number of steps, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We need a better calculation here. Instead of minus x, x is equal to this number of steps, right? We need to just know if the current page minus one. So let's put one there. Is less than one. I think that should do a better job. Nah, it's not doing a better job. Okay, so it's allowing everything. Hmm. What's going on here? What am I missing? I guess this is where the mathematics class actually pays off. <laughs> okay, so let's retrace our steps here a little bit. So page number, this is the thing that we don't want to see because this is what's resulting in this. We don't want to see these negatives or even zero. So, which means we still need to have this calculation here into consideration. So I'll copy that and put it back here. There's just something I'm missing here because if I do this and refresh, none of that shows up until I get to page seven, which is not good. So the reason that's happening is because every time through the loop it's continuing and x remains the same because we are only subtracting x when we get here. So what I need to do is also subtract x before I tell it to continue. Now for some of you that don't know what continue does is that if you're looping through here and then this condition is true and then it gets continue it means it will continue the loop without going down here so it's as good as for example when it's looping normally it's going to run each line of code up to the end right but then if you if it finds continue it's as good as telling it okay you've gotten to the end now go back to the top of the loop and start again okay so that's what continue does it means the rest of the code down here for that iteration will not run 
but if you say break like this this means exit the loop completely stop right here and stop looping but this one says stop right here but continue looping right so instead of continue just being like that we should still subtract the x so that it's as good as we got to the bottom that way in the next iteration x will have a different value for when we are evaluating this again let's see if that helps out finally so let's get to one and we see one if i go to two i just keep seeing those which is nice look at that look at that and then they start changing as we get to higher and higher numbers okay pretty good pretty good so also let's go back to the users thingy and remove these steps too many so let me just uh, undo here put it make it a one liner like this but at least you know you can do that you can change the number of steps depending by pa by page by page uh, because on the users and on the sales you can have two different versions so this is working out very well actually all right so finally we are done with our pagination it's all working out very well first page yes users first page second third great only that i want um pager where is pager um wait a minute uh, sales the admin view actually the limit here should be 10 as well so if it's 10 i don't even need to supply it there but why not i can just leave it so 10 users there let's go to users and there we go now you can set it up so that um if there are no more um what's this if they are less than the limit if the result is less than the limit then we don't show this if you want right because there are only three items here so we don't really need this pagination here unless if there are 10 then we know that there should be more right then we show the pagination but for as long as they are less than the limit then we don't need to show this pagination so in order to do that you can actually uh, supply the results if you want so this is an extra step that's if you want it to work like that okay so when we say display here uh, if you want on the display right here you can supply an array here um, what do we say here I'll say total okay so let me send a total there mm -hmm. let me default it to the total should be defaulted to the limit just in case we don't supply it right let's put whatever limit is here uh, unfortunately let's see total is equal to let's default it to a no value okay that way i don't have to supply it all the time i can just write display like this but if i want i can tell it how many are supposed to be the total for this like so okay so let me call back the total is equal to no now if the total is no like this i'll say if not total let's do that okay so if not total then total is going to be equal to uh this limit mm -hmm. no actually let me instead of total this is supposed to be record count so record count like that is equal to no that's what we should call it how many records were retrieved that's the number here so if record count is it is not uh, added we're just going to assume that the limit is the record count that we got 
and then all we need to do now is just check the record count and this limit so if record count is less than so here we're going to say if record count is less than this limit like that okay so if the amount of records that were returned are less than the limit then don't show the pagination so here we're just going to say return like that okay return so refresh now we don't know how many were retrieved so we can do that simply by going to the user section and just getting the user's count so now this only shows when it's required nothing here you can see it there because there's more than uh, enough records as opposed to here where they're less than 10.